Last week on Drenched, we did some hiking in the rain, had a little beach day, and then we had our minds blown as we dove in the middle of the open ocean at night over 5,000 feet of water. Today's adventure starts off with a shore dive. I have a love-hate relationship with shore diving on Big Island for a few reasons. I love it because the ocean gets deep fast along the coastline, so that means you can access almost all of the best diving without a boat, which is pretty sweet. I must admit that I do hate it a little because, well, it can be pretty sketchy. The way in typically involves scrambling over sharp lava rock and bare feet with heavy dive gear on, and in some cases, some form of acrobatic maneuvers are needed. Such was definitely the case on this day. The dive we wanted to do was amazing, but you can only dive it if the conditions are right, as the exit can be very hairy. So we went to scope it out and see if it was diveable. It comes through this here. This is the hairy point, right here. It's pretty okay. nice right now, but when you get a good swell coming in, it washes over these rocks here, and these rocks here, and you get this kind of flush that comes in. And where do we try to land our ass? Over here, or right? Right on the rock that we're right here. here. So this toilet bowl right here is where we're getting at. All right. This the dive site's called Jeff's Toilet Bowl. No, I'm just joking. It's not. What's it called? This pipe dreams. Pipe dreams. It's pipe called dreams. pipe dreams. The rocks that we're standing on right now are wet, which means that waves have been coming up and occasionally splashing or washing up on this area. So there is a, a set or two coming through, but I don't see anything that I would consider threatening. Anymore. After checking out the exit, it was game on. So we headed back to the car to gear up. Our posse today consisted of Nate and I, Jeff, who you met in last week's episode, his girlfriend Sarah, who is also a marine biologist, and also Sarah, who is a dive buddy of ours visiting from California. Immediately straight out from the entrance, there's a big pipe that used to be used to draw in water to feed the aquaculture facility here. Mm -hmm. Well, that pipe is no longer in use, but they left a big chunk of it down there just to check out. It's about six foot wide, you can swim into it, starts at about 50, 60 feet and goes down to 100 and something. And then as we swim up the reef, I think you're gonna find that the reef is some of the best reef in Kona. You excited? I'm excited, I'm a tiny bit nervous, but I think it's gonna be awesome. All right. Yeah. Once we jumped in, we descended into a little channel that led out to calm water, and within moments, we were casually greeted by a spotted eagle ray. We followed this little pipe out into deeper water and made our way towards the dive site's namesake, the Big Pipe. It was so impressive. As we crept up to the opening, we peered down into the darkness and saw that it went down pretty far. We couldn't spend long in the pipe as we had quite a bit of ground to cover to get to the exit point of the dive, so we wanted to make sure we saved plenty of air to make it there. Just as we exited the pipe, I turned around and noticed we had company. A manta. Not just any manta though, this is Koei. She is one of Kona's largest mantas, easily recognizable due to her missing cephalic fin and enormous size. She first stuck up on Jordan and then rode Sarah for a couple minutes only a few feet above her head. I was dying laughing. Just as we got done celebrating with a little manta dance, we were blindsided by the incredibly rare Hawaiian monk seal. We barely had time to get our cameras out before she had scooted off into the distance. We couldn't believe our luck. We pretty much lost our minds underwater. These animals were hunted almost to the brink of extinction in the late 1800s, 
and now their population is estimated to be fewer than 1200. It's so sad to think of all the devastating effects humans have had on the ocean and on this beautiful and playful creature. The dive was amazing and totally worth what we were about to go through to get out of the water. We didn't really film the exit too much as we didn't want to damage our cameras as we got out, but I promise you it was not fun. Luckily, everyone made it out safe, sound, and stoked on our awesome dive. How was your magic experience, Sarah? Apparently it was a lot better for everybody Just else. Just wait till you fucking see that lake. Oh man. Sarah got ridden by a manta ray. Very rare. rare Hawaiian monk seal. And, and, and a manta? Yeah. And a big pipe. And, yeah. and and I got just a little bit of blood. Right? Yeah, that's adventure for you. <laughs> this is Jeff Meisen's uh, sticker that pretty much sums up our diving. With hanging Jeff. out with Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go snorkeling. Yeah, we're waiting for Jeff to get yeah. here, and Nate was getting too hot, so he's gonna go in the water and swim around. Yeah, we're, and yeah, for a two-step, cool little spot. Sometimes there's dolphins here, not today, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna see what we can find. And uh, I really hate snorkeling. I'm gonna let that be known right now, beginning of this whole series and show that I hate snorkeling. It's a lot of work, and I hate it. And the footage is never good because you're bobbing up and down. So maybe today will be the day that you get amazing footage. Yeah, today's the day. I'm gonna see something cool. All right, here I go. Yeah. Oh yeah. He crazy. I'm just gonna chill. Wait for Jeff. Yeah, you get in there. You get that snorkel. Snorkel that face off. We were on our way to our second dive for the day, and we were waiting for Jeff to come meet us, so we decided to kill a little time here at Two Step. Right next door to this snorkel spot is a sacred Hawaiian area called Ho Nao Nao, or Place of Refuge. Back in the day, fugitives who had broken kapu, or sacred law, could come to this land to seek refuge and forgiveness. Also, during war, families of the fighters could come here to seek safety. There were many places of refuge in ancient Hawaii, but this one is by far the best preserved, and it's now a national historical park that visitors can come check out. We are on our way to a super secret dive spot to see some really rare fish. Uh, I'm really hoping that we can see some banded angelfish today, which is Hawaii's largest angelfish. Really beautiful, white and black. And we're also gonna be looking for Tinker's, Tinker's butterfly. Really rare butterfly fish, which are absolutely beautiful, a little retro looking thing. So that's my goals for the dive. Uh, yeah, don't usually go hunting out for just rare fish. We're usually looking for things that can eat us or really big things. So this one's a little bit different and uh, it's quite the mission to get in the in and out of the water. So that'll be part of the adventure as well. Is excited? Yeah. 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 I'm actually a little bit scared about climbing down this cliff with all my gear. So I'm excited and also I have to be a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> The dive site we were headed to is a super secret spot that is a Jeff Melison original discovery. We can only assume that we would be on a very short list of divers who have ever set fin in this site. Like our first dive of the day, the conditions had to be favorable to even attempt this dive. So we walked over to take a little gander at what was soon to become the scariest thing I'd ever done while wearing dive gear. To enter the water, you have to climb down this lava rock wall in all your gear and then launch yourself off the ledge down below to make sure you clear the shallow rocks. But 
that's not the scary part. To exit, you pretty much have to place yourself in front of the ledge there and wait for the right wave that's big enough to lift you up high enough to pull yourself out of the water, but not too big so that you don't get manhandled by the ocean into the pointy rocks. I gotta say, Nate and Jeff took it like pros, but me on the other hand... I'm pooping my pants right now. I'm really scared. Don't try this at home. Probably do that one, but you're gonna wanna bring your right foot back. There you go, go down. Nice, good job. The second I hit the water and saw the rays of light shining down all around us, all my fear and anxiety just washed away. Then we found our Tinker's butterfly we were hoping to see. As you can see, this is quite a handsome little fish, which unfortunately has made it popular among aquarium collectors, so they're becoming increasingly more rare to see out in the open ocean. In addition to its striking looks, it's also quite camera shy. We managed to get a few good shots, but mostly Nate just got lit all around the dive site filming its butt. dive just kept getting better and better, and as we swam towards the exit, I started getting some butterflies in my stomach, and not the tinker's kind. I watched Nate and Jeff get out ahead of me, and to be honest, I started to freak out a little. The footage simply does not do justice to how gnarly this exit really was. But after a few minutes of hemming and hawing, I sat in front of the ledge and scraped and scrambled my way up and out of the water. I'd never been so happy to set my two feet on the ground. Tune in next week as we check out the largest brewery in Hawaii, then head south to dive some of the best caves and cutest critters on Big Island. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching! If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and check out our previous episodes if you haven't already.